All right, so you got your voice meter banana set up working properly. If you don't, there's links down in the description on some videos that'll get you right every single time. But this video is strictly how to get your voice meter banana, your microphone, stuff like that, to work inside of your Xbox game bar. So you can either go to it and select it on the computer, or you can just simply hit the Windows G key. So once you hit the Windows G key, you see right now, if I stop talking, is monitoring me right there in my party. But the situation is this. So if I go into the party audio choices, a lot of people get confused because they see audio output, but then they're only selecting inputs and they're like, what, what am I supposed to do with this? So this is what the situation is. This is talking about all the things that are coming into this. So with that being said, if you want to have it come through the aux section, you want to choose the aux section. If you want it to come into this section, you want to choose the VAIO section. So pulling it back up, the way I have mine set up, I want it to all come through aux as far as my party chat audio. So then if I wanted to introduce any of those sounds to a recording or to a stream, I can simply do that by changing the outputs over here. So I'm gonna leave mine right here, but if you want it to come through this section over here, just simply choose the input section, not the aux input section. So I'm gonna leave that like that. And then down here, you see it says audio input. Right now we're on B1. So if I come back out of here, we're on B1. If I unselect this, it's not gonna monitor me right here. It's not gonna be coming through anything. So I'm gonna click this button in the middle of me talking so it'll go want to as you can see it goes away here but it's still going to show it in here so you got to have your microphone coming through b1 or you can have it coming through b2 the choice is really yours and if i hit b2 you see it's going to be coming through b2 so when it says audio input and then you come in here and select it this one for b1 this is b1 the output then if you want the voice meter aux vb situation that's b2 so if you have your microphone on B2, you want to select this one. So if I unselect this and then select this one right here, it's not going to be monitoring me no more in my party. But the moment I click B2, then it will. So I'm going to go ahead and put mine back to where I had it. And then as you can see, everything is running perfectly smooth, delectable, delicious. I know some people, they go ahead and just click their microphone anyway because they don't mind, like they want certain sounds to come through certain areas or whatever, because I can connect things to the microphone and hear things as far as like my voice coming back to me so I don't get too loud. But if you set up voice meter banana correctly, it already act like it's supposed to because the microphone that I have, is gonna automatically let me hear my voice anyway. But if you have everything set up, you don't have to tell it to put your audio from your party through your microphone. So the microphone itself is its own situation if you have like a specific mic that can be an audio interface. So some people just tell applications to come through here, but telling it to come through here does not allow you to hear it in your voice meter banana and that kind of defeats the purpose. So what you gonna do? <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it like that. You can do some push to talk if you want to. Uh, I'm not messing with none of that. I want to be talking and not have to worry about pressing no button to, to do that. So if you want to, you can do that as well. Choice is yours. But this is how you get it all set up. Pretty easy, pretty simple. And if this video helped you out, please slam that like button. It's greatly appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.